boy. Come on, guys, you can do better. Give up your boy. It's just so weird. I had an entire set of Stephen Hawking sex jokes. <laughs> I can't use any of them. Uh, I actually wasn't even going to come tonight. I had this really weird experience uh, when I was leaving town. I'm from Bradenton. <laughs> That's exactly. It swings the shirt. I uh, may not believe I'm from Bradenton because I'm currently wearing shoes and I speak in complete sentences. <laughs> um, when I was leaving town, um, I stopped. If you've been to Bradenton, which you haven't, that's fine. If you've been there, like every street corner has multiple homeless people. I don't think they're homeless. I think they're raking it in. But anyways, they're there. And normally you're just super desensitized to it. But what happened with me, this particular one, was just on the way out, like there's just this one lady. I'm automatically I'm like, oh. And she had a sign that had just one word on it. Normally it's like a whole bunch of crap and all that. Anyways, one word, and all it said was hungry. Like, that one hit me. Like that was more poignant, you know? So it light turns green. I'm like, man, I gotta, I gotta do something. I gotta do something. So I slowed down. I had the cars behind me. I'm feeling that pressure, but I slowed down. I rolled down the window and I said, you should eat something. <laughs> You guys are horrible. Okay. Uh, so, but I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy. I wanted to help out. Um, really good guy. Uh, my wife and I have been married almost 20 years. Yeah. No applause. The gear. Is just the anyway, okay. Um, and we think it's positive. Okay. Um, anyway, we've been married like 20 years, and uh, she just had a friend that came in town a couple weeks ago as her best friend from Illinois. And so she picked her up at the airport, and then my wife, uh, my wife's parents have this condo in town, it's, and it's literally a mile and a half from our house. So they spent like the whole weekend there, they went to the beach, they just did a bunch of fun stuff. And so I was joking with my wife, I was like, it's weird. It's like, I didn't even see your friend here. Like you could have totally have lied to me and just like spent the whole, the whole time by yourself. But um, Tyrone is also a woman's name. Is, is that right? <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. Her friend's name is Dave. Um, so we've been married 20 years. We have five kids. No joke. Um, which, of course, is why I'm here from Bradenton. <laughs> hey, you want to drive an hour away, sit around for a while, tell five minutes of jokes, and drive an hour home and stop at McDonald's on the way? Yeah, yes, I do. So anyways, uh, uh, yeah, so uh, I'm thinking of using my expertise, raising five kids, 16 years of work, and um, letting, uh, letting the world know some advice, and so I'm writing a book. The book is for couples who are thinking about having their first child. <laughs> couples that are thinking about like entering into parenthood. The title of the book is... <laughs> Chapter one, my book. Uh, the copies are available nowhere, I'm making it up. Uh, chapter one of my book is um, when you're picking a name for your child. There's a lot of younger people. Like, yeah, okay. When you're picking a name for your child, pick one that's easy to yell. <laughs> Nobody's going to tell you that, but you're going to need it. Yeah. My oldest daughter's name is Grace. You know what Grace means? It means unmerited favor and unconditional love. She's 16 years old. That is not what I feel like yelling at her. <laughs> chapter two. Chapter two. I wrote it, I just can't remember it. Oh, yeah, chapter two. <laughs> There's three words that you can't say too much. No matter what happens. You can't oversay them, you gotta keep them going. Okay? It's I don't know. <laughs> There's some parents that get that. <laughs> For every, chances are, mom and dad, you'll know the question, the answer to every question they have. Is that my four minute warning? I yeah, never know. Yeah, it is. It cool, is. I've got a minute. This, the rest of the joke's really going to roll now. Awesome. <laughs> it's going to work. Um, all right, so, uh, yeah, for every, like, one answer you give your kid, you will get 50 questions back. You humanly, you can't keep up with that crap. So, what you do is you just say, I don't know, in every situation, I don't know. Hey, dad, why is the grass green? I don't know. <laughs> just save myself 10 minutes. <laughs> hey, Dad, why are bananas yellow? I don't know. Why do you care about color so much, you weirdo? Now, if you're feeling passive-aggressive, or if you just don't like your spouse, or you're going through a season, you can always add the I don't know. Ask your mom. <laughs> it works the other way, too. I don't know. Ask your dad. 
But I go up, I don't know, ask your mom. Hey, Dad, why do you have to cut the grass so much? I don't know, ask your mom. <laughs> hey, Dad, why do we stop at Burger King every day on the way home? I don't know. Don't ask your mom. <laughs> hey, Dad, do you love me? I don't know, ask your mom. My name's Tim Boyd, thank you very much. Like I said, I have five kids at home, so if anybody wants to hang out super late, I'll be here. <laughs>